Tactical Lich and Anti-Kaiju. Wood Elves versus Corn. Tactical Lich is another YouTuber. You should go check him out. It's spelled just as it's spelled right there. With some Zotes and Blade Singers. Hmm. I don't like Zotes. I do like Blade Singers. I think Blade Singers are super sick. Now, if your opponent has Burning Head or something, they will die instantly. But if they don't have crowd clearing spells like that, War Dancers, uh, sorry, Blade Singers can actually be pretty darn amazing. And Corn is notorious for not having crowd clearing spells. Ooh, the Zotes might be a fun little tech piece. Removes magical attacks and spell resistance from Corn. I like that. I like that, Lich. That was nice. The magical attacks aren't as important, but uh, the spell resist, getting rid of that from Corn is nice. Does he have any follow up? He does have Melkos Mystifying Miasma for a little bit of damage. Zotes will be great at that. And the other Trickster Shard, minus 20% spell resist for anyone around the Branch Wraith. This Wood Elf Army is really trying to fuck with what Corn wants to do. Now, unfortunately for Eshin, we did get the Knight version of the map, so it's a little dark here. But that's that's okay, I guess. Didn't actually cover the builds too much. Two Blade Singers for the Wood Elves, two War Dancers, and then three Eternal Guard with Shields, two Zotes, a Branch Wraith with Earthblood and Melkots, and then a Glade Lord with his Helm of Discord up on his dragon. For Corn, it is a front line of Marauders, a secondary line of Minotaurs, some with great weapons, some without. Three Chaos Knights of Corn, one is beneath my screen here. As a Blade Singer gets Valkyad and absolutely massacred, and then Valkyad even gets a little bit more onto a second Blade Singer. That was insane value. And of course, some dogs too to finish off the build. But, uh, oof. Already we're losing a Blade Singer. Valkyad's gotta have pretty good value from that. A thousand value already off of that Spear Slap near. Jesus Christ. Chaos Knights of Corn slam into the Wood Elf Spears, but the Spears were braced. They don't take much charge damage, and now they're going to fight back rather effectively. Zotes are in here really handing it to these Minotaurs right now. I think they've gotten some uh, spell support. They also have pretty decent stats, and they do have a Flesh to Stone. They can cast themselves if they get the time, but Earthblood is going to heal them up. And it's a Helm of Discord. Ah, that's why. Helm of Discord is making the Minos a little more limp than they otherwise would be. The Blade Singer that got tickled by the Spear Slop near, not the one that got absolutely massacred by it, did win their fight against the Marauders and are now closing in on the Minos. Chaos Knights trying to get a rear charge on some of these Spears, getting really good damage out, but the Zotes are here to party, and so far the Zotes have been doing good work against Minos across the board, man. These Zotes are actually slapping fools right now. Melkost is flying Miasma onto the Chaos Knights of Corn, who are bereft of their spell resist due to various dampening effects. They get it back now, but only for the last part of the spell there. How is Korn doing otherwise? Valkia has left completely, which is a mistake. She has to come back. I don't know why she's all the way over there, but she does need to return home. The Wood Elves' infantry is holding fine with a lot of support that has been given to them. They still have two rather healthy Zotes, and they have a very healthy Lord. Now, they have lost some infantry, but overall they are making out like bandits on these trades. Nice little breath attack onto some Marauders of Corn there from the Glade Lord. And Valkia is back, finally routing off those Blade Singers and the War Dancers, leaving the Zotes all alone. We do have a Scroll of Shielding buffing them up right now with 20% damage resistance, but with Minos and infantry support nearby, those Zotes should be dying. So Valkia is back, and she immediately busts a hole in the enemy lines. We do have Chaos Warhounds of Corn. They have zero kills. I wonder if they could be used to to officially chase off anything that's routing, but a nice predictive Spear Slaupnir goes straight through War Dancers and Eternal Guard, really killing those guys off, and these dogs have to be utilized to kill anything that's already routing, but it looks like instead they're going to just take a fight with these War Dancers, which if they're actually charging the War Dancers could be a good fight, but it looks like they're trying to get past them. There we go, with Knights following up, that'll get good damage out. Wood Elves running very quickly out of infantry. They have one Eternal Guard left in the fight. Everything else is routing or already dead. Earthblood tries to heal up the Zotes. One Zote is almost dead. Another Zote still chilling, hanging in there. For Korn, Valkia is super healthy. Marauders are running out of steam. We have one Mino left in the fight and triple Chaos Knight. But when your opponent only has Spears and Zotes left, that could be a tough ask. Balance Power is slightly Wood Elf favored. And the dogs have to be hyper aggressive about chasing off anything that's already routed. Helm of Discord is back out, lowering the stats of everybody. Valkia once again lost in the sauce, just up in the sky, spinning around, not doing her damn job. 
And the Horn of Corn is counterbalancing the Helm of Discord in the melee attack department, but their melee defense is still very low for anybody that is getting affected by that Helm. So these Chaos Knights do have to run away. Mino's still at three melee defense. And Valkia's back in the fight. Looks like now she's diving onto the Branch Wraith and the Zotes. Dogs are doing their job, running down various infantry. Bladesinger's return only to get hunted into the ether by Chaos Knights, and then they shatter. Marauders are trying to rally, but they're all so low. As soon as they get near the dragon, they will rout. It's looking a little spooky for Valkia. Another Melkoth's on Chaos Knights of Corn as they try and charge into the Eternal Guard with shields. And if Corn charges enough of their army passive, maybe they can get a Sword of Corn and kill off these last Eternal Guard. But I don't know. I guess the Zotes are getting pretty low. Yeah, if you could somehow sort of corn this half health Eternal Guard, you could make this pretty winnable. Chaos Knights are back versus the Zotes. Flesh of Stone giving them 60% physical resistance against the Chaos Knights who do not do magic damage. Brutal. Big breath attack onto the other Chaos Knights, so the Wood Elves are really cleaning up house in this late game. One Chaos Knight of Corn is going to run away. The other two Chaos Knights of Corn are extremely damaged. And we have a quite healthy dog jumping into the fight now, but, I mean, we still have two Zotes on the field, and they're getting healed up by Earthbloods. I just don't know how Valkia is going to be able to carry this, and I don't think she will. Chaos Knights of Corn charge in briefly before a dragon lands on him. Because it's the night map, we can't see too much. But we do get a cool shot of a dragon. Valkia attempts to duel the Lord. She knows all hope is lost, and this is her best attempt at doing something helpful. But it really won't be enough. Demon Shield will protect her for just a bit. And that is GG. Zotes! The anti corn technology. Really good value on both of them. Absolutely insane value, actually, on both of them. Blade Singers and War Dancers got crumped by the Spear Slaupnir. Valkia got insane value from killing off those expensive infantry and dueling against a dragon all game. Minos mixed value. Chaos Knights, unfortunately, pretty limp value. Dogs did okay. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.